So, hi Erika, just tell me about yourself. Uh, good afternoon sir. Good First afternoon. of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity mm -hmm. to introduce myself. My name is Harika. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Mm -hmm. I belong to a nuclear family. I completed my graduation in the stream of Computer Science Engineering from UKRB and AGK College of Engineering, Gudivara. Mm -hmm. I completed my intermediate from Prasanna Junior College, Pamaru. And I completed my schooling from Enam English Medium High School, Pamaru. Very good. Uh, coming to my strengths, I am a self-motivated team player and I am dedicated myself for continuous self-improvement. My hobbies are listening to music, playing games and gardening. My short-term goal is to get a good job in a well-reputed company. And my long-term goal is to achieve a good position at that company. That's okay. all about me, sir. Thank you. Good, madam. So, as a computer science student, why you just kept Python and MySQL, madam, as a languages? I mean, you don't have exposure for any other things? Because I know the in computer science, we are having so many things. Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, from my final year project, uh, Mostly, I have touched Python, Python okay. itself, sir. So okay. I did. I decided myself to improve my skills more on Python. Okay. So I decided to take Python full stack. Sure. Good. I'm improving myself more and more in depth uh, in that subject, sir. So up to now. Very good. Very good, madam. So how much you rate yourself in Python out of five? Four, sir. Four. Very good. Very good. What is the purpose of variable? So, variables are the building blocks of any programming language. Mm -hmm. Variables are used to store the data mm -hmm. in memory. Um, Can't we do anything with variables, madam? Any without variables? No, sir. We cannot do we anything. Cannot. Okay, good, good, madam. We need to Can hold the data. We need variables, sir. If you want to hold the data, we need variables. Okay. So, without variables, we cannot. We cannot do anything. Very good, very good. Can you please write a program, madam? So, I want you to reverse the list without using a reverse function and as well as uh, uh, slicing. Slice. Without using slicing, without using reverse function, can you please write a program to reverse the list? Okay. So you take any list you want. Okay, very good. Man. Okay, no worries, I got your point. Very good. Can you tell me what is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy? Sure, sir. When we copy an object into another object, okay. um, both the variables are referred to the same memory location. Okay. So we have same same values and addresses also same. Okay. When in the case of deep copy, um, we copy only the elements, not the addresses. Okay. Okay. So, can you please tell me, is it shallow copy or deep copy? It is uh, deep copy, sir. Mm -hmm. um, a new list will be created for one. So, tell me, is it list or double? Sorry, sir. Double. Double. Yeah. I mean, my question is, do we have the deep copy in double? No, sir. As tuple is immutable, same uh, tuple, same memory will be allocated. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm expecting. Huh. So, yes, very good. You just take another list. Okay. I want you to print duplicates from the X. I'm not asking you to avoid the duplicates. I want you to print which are duplicated. Okay, so, in this example, one, two, three is duplicated, not four. So I want to I want you to print duplicate numbers. Yes. Okay. Not in okay, one second. So I feel there is something wrong, but uh, very good. We did correct one. Very good. Count rather than one. I not in X one. Okay. Because we are not adding duplicates again. Very good, very good. So tell me madam, what is the use of set? What do you mean of set? Set is a data structure which is mm -hmm. used to store heterogeneous values, which mm -hmm. does not allow duplicate values. And it does not follow the order and it is mutable in terms of adding new element and removing existing element from okay. the okay. set. We cannot uh, modify the elements present in set. So. Okay. Why it is an order, madam? So, as a set follows um, hash function, uh, their order is not predictable, sir. It stores differently in the memory location. Okay. So, we cannot. Uh, okay. I got your point, madam. So now I am having a string like this. I want you to print, I mean, I want you to count the consonants. This string, you just take any string. I want you to find the count of consonants as enough. So just to print consonants. Uh, count, that's okay. Count. Yeah, I got your point. Very good. So you take the variable. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. So tell me what is the purpose of decorator? 
so decorator is a special function which allows to add uh, more functionality without modifying the existing code of our functions okay okay in which cases we can use the decorator can you give me an example suppose um, if we have a situation like uh, we are delivering any software to small companies mm -hmm. and we have to display their company name Okay. Uh, everyone have different uh, scenarios someone wants if they in capital some smaller okay. so our company name is stood same but using decorators we can modify whether it is want to want in upper case or lower case got your point very good very good so tell me what do you mean of abstraction abstraction hiding implementation details and showing necessary information is nothing but abstraction sir good good so what do you mean a property decorator property decorator mainly uh, access modifiers like mm -hmm. private public and so on private is used to um, add security to our data mm -hmm. so if if there is a scenario like we have to change our private variables we can implement that using property decorator we have setter and getter methods in that mm -hmm. so we can i mean not very ex i mean it's not exactly actually okay. so it's a bit different for us okay. so i mean if you want to access private variables from outside as you said getter and setter is setter, needed yes. but properties property decorator is doing bit more it's so it's behaving a i mean it's creating a method inside the class which will behave like a variable outside the class okay sir. okay so you have to highlight that okay sir very good so very good madam so how much you wrote yourself in mysql out of 5 mysql 3.5 sir okay what is the purpose of use so mysql is used to store the data in an organized manner for no, no, views i'm talking about views views yes. sorry sir view is a virtual table which is hmm. not physically existed Views are used to provide uh, data security, sir. Mm -hmm. Suppose if we want to sh display our data to some other uh, some other person, so we can restrict our data whatever we want to show. So case, okay, okay, okay. And you can tell elaborately like it's a name as SQL query, okay. name SQL query. Name. That's it. Okay. So what is the purpose of joins also, madam? Joins. Joins are used to combine uh, multiple tables. Mm hmm. Is it to combine multiple tables? Sir. Okay. Can you write a query uh, to find the highest? I mean, second highest salary in the employee table. Okay. Sir. Okay. Select team number and then dance rank. Very good, madam. Under by salary, just cash rank. That's it, madam. Very good. Um, but you need to use sub query here with okay. Um, okay. Yes. When you use this sub uh, temporary table, you have to do select again. Select to start from time. Yeah, Wait, yes. TMP dot. Okay, good man. That's it. I'm I'm done with my interview.